How y'all doing today? Hope y'all had a very happy holiday. My name is Adam. I'm from Commander on a Budget. Today we'll be getting to another episode of Budget Brews. So we're going to be going over Satoru Umazawa. He was just released on Christmas Eve as our uh, Christmas Eve preview for Neon Dynasty. He's a new ninjutsu commander, so let's hop on into it. So first up, I want to run a bunch of different creatures with ninjutsu to pretty much give us direct value for the unblockable creatures we're going to be running, which we'll get into later. So we're going to run cards like Ninja of Deep Hours. Miss Blade Shinobi, which lets you recycle certain cards. Miss Syndicate Naga, which can give you a bunch of different copies of it to proc off the effects. And Ingenious Infiltrator, it's a really cheap ninjutsu card, it's fantastic. But how are we going to get these cards out? We're going to run some very cheap cards with unblockable or cards that really just can't be blocked. So something like Changeling Outcast is a real good one. Escape Artist from Odyssey is also fantastic. Plus you have the chance to return a batch to your hand in case they want to try and kill it. I also personally like Demir Infiltrator. It can't be blocked, and because of the transfute, it's pretty much a toolbox card. And probably one of my favorite includes for this deck would be Ghostly Pilferer, just because it can be a little mini draw engine whenever your opponents try and play their commanders. Depending how you build your deck, you can definitely run Garuda Doom of the Depths as a card to give ninjutsu to. Um, you'd have to make your deck a lot more even-costed focused, but it's still a possibility. Just wanted to throw that out there. But some of my favorite cards I would try and cheat in would be Grey Merchant of Asphodel, Gary for short. Both Support and Diluvian Primordial are fantastic includes to try and ninjutsu in. I also like Overseer of the Dam a lot. It's a free removal spell and it can make you a zombie token. Noose Grab Mob is also fantastic if you want to go a token around. It forces your opponents to think twice about playing a bunch of spells. I also really like Abhorrent Overlord and Underworld Hermit. They can both make a bunch of tokens depending on your Black Devotion. And a card I really like to run in this deck, and I've been running in a bunch more of my decks, is... Dreadfeast Demon, if you can ninjutsu this out, you deal six, you sacrifice one of the many tokens that you've probably made to make another demon that's untapped. It's just an all-in-all -all great card. Great include for token decks. And yeah, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all want to see. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye bye